Good morning guys, I hope you're okay. It's been so long since I've done a video, but getting into this whole routine of like working so much and trying to do all the other errands and stuff that I need to do when I'm not at work because I barely get at least one day off um, a week. I'm just struggling to manage my time and stuff at the minute. So when I do have a bit of time away from work, I find it difficult to actually sit here and film a video because I've just been so busy like doing other stuff like doing the food shop getting all the housework done because obviously we have a actual house now <laughs> instead of a little studio room so there's a lot more things to clean we have a washing machine so like loads of washing um cooking and things like that so i've just been trying to get back into a routine of stuff um i've finally been able to make a video today so that is really good um so i've got like a day off today and it's a sunday so i'm just gonna have like a chill lazy day make a video I found like a new YouTube channel called Absolute History or something. Um, I'm really enjoying watching those videos. And tomorrow we're going to Legoland. So if I can, I will do some filming, um, particularly in the sensory room that's at Legoland, just so people have an idea of what sort of it's like for people with autism to go there and see whether it would be suitable for you. Um, so that's something to look forward to. I'm really excited. So today's video, is going to be about kind of genetics and autism um me and my boyfriend are at a stage where we are thinking about the future and thinking about having children um we would both love to have children right now but we're not in a financial situation where that's possible yet we want to as we've like left university we want to clear at least my overdraft first um, and then work on his student overdraft separately um, afterwards so we're hoping by the way that we're saving at the minute mine will be cleared just after the new year and then his by the summer so like in a year's time um, so then we'll have a few months to start saving and you know work out our money situation so hopefully by the end of next year we'll be starting to think about having a family um because ever since i've little i've always just wanted kids and obviously i can't wait but i am i do know that you know we can't just go and have one you know we do need to be financially at least some sort of financially ready for it we don't have to be 100 percent financially ready because you never are <laughs> but at least be in a better situation than we are um and in our house at the minute we both commute about an hour to work just because of the way it is in Wales really um, and this was like the sort of cheapest area to rent but we have realised that with better jobs um, my boyfriend has got hopefully a new job starting with HGV because he's got his HGV licence now so that's a bit more money um, and I've applied for a new job as well I have got my contract of employment but it's just waiting subject to like references and things like that and I'll be on a lot more money as well so we're hoping with that we'll be able to move closer to our jobs um, which saves on travelling and petrol and stuff like that because at the minute I do a community based job and use my car so I fill up my petrol like every two or three days and it's kind of crippling us but um, totally sidetracking again but yeah in terms of genetics and autism um, it is something that I thought about not because I'm worried that my children will have autism Obviously I have autism and I know a lot of people with autism. I work with people with autism. It doesn't bother me about having a child with a disability or a special need. Of course it is difficult, but you know, it's not something that I would find horrible and not want to do. It's just, I was thinking in terms of my own autism and the possibility of how that occurred. Um, I know a lot of children that get diagnosed have genetic testing to find out if there was a cause for their autism as there are a lot of like chromosome abnormalities that can cause autism and I am just thinking about getting gene genetic testing done anyway aside from just autism just to see if there is anything that our kids might pass on you know if we're a carrier of anything and things like that just to make sure we give the best chance um I have thought about it and you know if I did have genetic testing and there were things that we were carriers of or you know there was a chromosome abnormality that caused my autism would I not have children biologically and no like I would still have children biologically obviously if we're a carrier of something that is going to cause a severe disability and affect the life of that child 
severely to the fact that they're not actually enjoying life or things like that then you know you do have to think about it a bit more but in terms of just getting genetic testing done for my own sort of um kind of curiosity about what possibly caused my autism and through this research i did find something called fragile x syndrome i'm not sure if you guys have heard of that before i will pull some information up on it from my phone um but a lot of the characteristics i think relate to me and my life and i know that fragile x syndrome can cause physical abnormalities which i don't have but in girls it does say that these um physical abnormalities aren't really present a lot of the time so basically one third of individuals with fragile x syndrome have features of autism that affect communication and social interaction seizures occur in 15 percent of males and five percent of females it says about half of females with fragile x syndrome have physical features that become more apparent with age and most males do so obviously in females it doesn't seem as common um and it's just something that you know is a cause for autism fragile x and autism aren't the same not everybody with autism has fragile x and vice versa but a lot of people with fragile x will have autism and a lot of people with autism will have fragile x and it just got me thinking about actually finding out possibly why i have it and there isn't really much research into whether an autistic parent has a higher likely has a higher possibility of having autistic children there is research into siblings and autism and if one of your children does have autism there's a chance that the second sibling would also have autism so i'm just trying to find that statistic for you now yeah so it says brothers and sisters of children with autism have nearly a 19 percent risk of being diagnosed with the condition at the age of three so obviously if you are autistic your brothers and sisters have a higher chance of having it so it makes you think that if you are a parent and you have autism then your child might have autism as well um there isn't really much research into it which is you know you think there would be but there isn't and yeah so that's kind of where we're at at the minute and thinking about you know genetics and autism and even genetics and children in general do i'm just curious do any of you guys have a sort of genetic cause for your autism like abnormalities chromosome abnormalities things like that or is it still unknown because obviously we don't 100 percent know what causes autism but a lot like some people with autism do have chromosome abnormalities that could have caused their autism if that makes sense and just kind of want to see what you guys I think in terms of genetics and autism and if there was a high chance that your children would have autism would you how do you feel about that you know because it's quite difficult because in my job i see both sides autism does affect me quite a lot in certain aspects for, for the most part i am you know i can manage life and do washing and work and things like that and i work with children on the very very severe side of autism and one family in particular all three of their children have severe autism they're all non-verbal they all have very difficult challenging behaviors and aggression um they can't do anything independently they're not toilet trained things like this and you kind of look at that situation and it would be very hard um i want three or four children and obviously you've got to think if all four or three of those children had severe autism how that would affect your life um so i can see it from both sides and I'm, there's not a right or wrong answer to this obviously it's personal preference and things but i just wanted to give you guys a sort of idea into what's been going on lately and thinking about the future and just if there's any um information or studies whatever that you've found with genetics and autism i'd be really eager to like see those and have a discussion with you about it in the comments if there's any questions you want to ask me regarding this then go ahead in the future i'm also planning to do a question and answer video so if you just pop your questions down in the comments or message or email however and then i'll do a question and answer video so i should be see you again soon i will try and do a lego land video if you guys want that let me know and i'll make sure i kind of do some more regular videos 
coming up now because I had another issue as well. My um my laptop broke. So I'm using like this little HP laptop at the minute and it doesn't have like an SD slot so I couldn't figure out how to edit the videos off my camera and you can't download Windows Movie Maker anymore and my old laptop had Sony Vegas on it but I can't find the disc so and obviously this doesn't take a disc anymore so I've had to download I managed to find yesterday this new um, video editor that I can use on here so I'm hoping it all goes well and then I can start making videos because that was a massive block as well and I just couldn't figure out what to do but I hope you guys are well. Thanks you for staying with me. And I will try to post more regular. I love you guys. See you soon. Bye.